How's it going Old School RuneScape? I'm Mod Ronan, filling in for Mod Archie to go over everything that's happened in the past week of Old School. With last week's update, many of you will have noticed the addition of World 666. Anyone venturing through Falador may have also noticed some spooky looking faces appearing on their screen and spawning green party hats. Well, on Monday we revealed what it was all about. Monday was the 10 year anniversary of the infamous Falador Massacre bug, and we felt like celebrating it. World 666 opened its doors, and to the delight of many wannabe PKers, it was revealed to be a slightly modified version of Tournament Worlds. On top of being able to have any combination of stats and equipment, we opened the portal to Falador where you could relive the mayhem. A Jorial 321 NPC could be found wandering around the city, owning noobs as he's known to do. If you want to pay Jorial a visit, head to World 666 while you can, as the world will be disappearing once more in the near future. This week's game update saw the release of the Catacombs of Karend, a vast set of tunnels underneath the city which have been warped and distorted by the ever-flowing power of the Dark Altar. Filled to the brim with creatures from around the game, and some creatures you will not have encountered before, the Catacombs of Karend are an excellent place to explore. Monsters found throughout the Catacombs all have a chance of dropping both the Ancient Shards and Totem Pieces. Ancient Shards can be used with a Dark Light in order to create a brand new weapon, the Arc Light. When used against demons, the arc light is superior to even the abyssal tentacle. For every three ancient shards you use on your arc light, it will gain 1000 charges. Each attack on a demon will consume one charge. The totem pieces which you can also receive as drops from monsters in the catacombs currently have no use, but come next week's update, a complete totem will allow you one time access to a boss found lurking beneath the catacombs of Karend. You'll have to hold tight until Thursday for more information on that, so make sure you go and grab some totem pieces in the next week. This week for the Player Spotlight, we've got some excellent suggestions that came from the community. Gentle Tractor, the same person behind the amazing Zaya redesign which sparked a huge discussion about the continent and its future, is back at it again with an amazing design for the sailing skill. Gentle Tractor has put so much time and effort into designing this skill with so much detail, it really does deserve a read. This thing is way too big to go over in this video, so I'll be leaving a link in the description and I highly recommend that you go and check it out. Next up we have Lazaranzo with a design for a city called Wiss. Currently in the old school map, there's a big, blank map square in the middle of it. Well, Lazaranzo didn't like that. What you're seeing on screen now is the city of Wiss. Designed to fill out that blank space and really finish off the coastline there, it's clear that Lazaranzo has put a ton of time and effort into designing this city. Again, there'll be a link in the description, so please do go and check it out. To finish things off, we've got an excellent comic coming from Presleek, teaching you a slightly simplified way to get your hands on a Tanzanite fang. That just about wraps up this week, so thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you next time.